Hey guys, this is Louise here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the resources and some of the books um, that I found very useful and helpful um, during nursing school. Um, we get a lot of questions about whether to buy textbooks or not to buy textbooks. So I thought it would be helpful to show you guys what I used. Um, I'm very anti-textbook because one, they're too expensive. Two, um, I was doing an 11 month program, so I didn't really have time to be studying textbook, um, textbooks, so I didn't buy it. But everybody's different. If you have the money for textbooks, go ahead. If you're the type of person that learned better from reading from textbook, buy it. It's all up to you. You know what, you know how you study, you know the type of learner you are, so go with whatever works for you because what works for me may not work for you. But um, here are some resources that I found very useful during nursing school. Um, what you're seeing right now is um, Saunders NCLEX, um, Comprehensive NCLEX Review. Um, I didn't actually buy this book. Um, I had a friend that graduated from nursing school and they had um, a code online from Elsevier. Um, so she let me use hers. So I have the online version. I, this, is just, just, this is just to show you what the book looks like. Um, my friend has the physical textbook and it, ha it comes with the code that you can go online. The online, I feel like, is better. The online version is better because you can actually select, like, certain topics, um, that you want to focus on. And I found this book really, really helpful, um, it's for knowledge base. Um, because a lot of the stuff that I was said I was, I used this book for class. It really helped a lot for, um, quizzes and tests because I saw a lot of similar questions on my tests and quizzes, um, that were on this question. Um, so the Saunders and Clex RN is really helpful for um, class. Um, so I did lots of practice questions. Like I said before, um, the goal to making it through nursing school is studying your PowerPoints and your notes and doing tons and tons of practice questions. You can't go wrong with doing too many practice questions. Like I've did so many practice questions that when I took quizzes and tests, most of the questions were similar. Even though they weren't word for word, but the topic was still the same, so I kind of knew the answers already, if that makes sense. But it really, like, doing questions will absolutely, would not hurt you at all. Um, so, that's Saunders. And in Q1, like you guys, I, I went to Drexel for, I did their 11-month program. So, their semesters are a little weird. They have the quarter system, so it was very fast. Um, so in Q1, we, we, we took um, physical assessment and um, fundamentals of nursing, which was like the, the core nursing classes at that time. So these books, the Reviews and Rationales, if you guys haven't heard of it, these Reviews and Rationales are so awesome. It's like, it, it's literally, I felt like my teachers was teaching from this. Um, so this one is a review, so it gives you a background about each topic, and then at the end it gives you like a 10 question quiz, so you know it, like, so it tests you if you know the information or not. Um, so if anybody who's going to Drexel, if you have fundamentals of nursing one right here, um, get it. I didn't buy it. I went to the library and just bought or borrowed it and used it. And there's also health and physical assessment, nursing 112 for anybody who's doing the ACE program. This one was really helpful too, and um, the library has it too, so use it. And also friends have it. Study with your friends. This program is already expensive as it is. Don't waste money if you don't have to. Um, and they have it for almost every class that you're going to take um, during nursing school. So it, there's the child, there's mental. Um, I think there's, there's even one for pathophysiology, but that one you won't even use because our um, professor and there's one for farm. Farm was really helpful. Um, so those are some. Of, these are the books that I used. Um, mind you, I did not buy any of this. I used my resources, the library, to get some a lot of these, um, and I was able to check it out for each quarter without having to return. I just kept I just kept renewing it over and over again. So that's those books, and then I have a tons and tons of apps that I downloaded. Well, not really tons, but this app right here. Um, don't mind my screen. It's pretty crappy because you guys know I fin finally finished with school. 
Um, I passed my exit Hesse and I was so excited. Some of my friends and I um, went to go, I guess, we went to go um, celebrate. May or may have not celebrated a little too much. I fell and cracked my phone. So, but it still works. So, that's all matters. So, this app called Scribd. I don't know, I can't even focus it right now, but Scribd. S C R I B D. I don't know. This, I'm having a hard time focusing this right now. Okay, so Scribd right here. S C R S C R I B D. Download that. Um, so this is what, yeah, S C R I B D. Um, I downloaded this app for a lot, lot of things. Um, once you download it, it's free. And you don't have to, I mean, it asks you to join for a membership, and which is $8.99 a month. But I'm a co broke college student, so I didn't have money to do that. So I just did it. Um, you don't have to sign up to use some of this stuff. Some books on here you need a subscription to um, buy, to, to get access to it. But the books I'm about to show you are completely free. So you don't need access for it. Um, so, let me go to my library. Um, so... This is harder than I thought. Library. And then here are my like my nursing books. No, nope, no, nope, those are not it. I lied. Okay. Let's go back. My collections. Alright, so so here's my list of nursing books. Sorry for the crappy screen. Like I d I don't know what to do about it. Um but so here, med search success success. So sex, um, this will be very helpful during Q1. I mean, during Q2 and 3 and 4 until you're done with nursing school. Um, it's just all med story. This, these books are just full of questions. Like, all questions. So you don't even need to. It's just questions. Just doing questions. So I have this app scribed, downloaded on my cell phone and also on my iPad. Because some of these books, you can't really, you, there's the answers are like at the end of the chapters, at the end of the test. So I would have my, the questions open on my iPad so I don't kill my eyes and then have the answers open up on my phone. So then once I read the question and then I select my answer and then I go check on my phone to see if I got it right. So I, so I wasn't like flipping back and forth page from page. So this was really good um, and it's separated each one by subjects so if you're learning about heart failure go to the heart failure section and do those questions so then at least like once you once you have studied your PowerPoint go there and do those questions to really see how much you really know what you just studied and then there is one for us this is um PEDS the pediatric success um, that's for pediatric. These are all just questions. And then there's a Davis and Clex RN book that I downloaded. So these, all these books are free. And I use every single one of these during nursing school. Like, I am the queen of doing questions. I learn better by doing questions because when I read the rationales, it sticks in my head better than reading PowerPoints over and over and over again. But you do need your basic knowledge, so do read the PowerPoint. So Farm, farm Success was good. Lip and Cots, I had this, the physical book. Um, but then I found it on this on here for free too. Um, they also separate the content by subjects. So you, if you like need to do questions on liver failure or any type of, any type of subject, whatever you're learning in school, you can go to this book and, um, and do questions from there. Um, and this, I downloaded a client management and leadership success book, um, this is for when I was in Q4 for my leadership class. This is just teaches you just all questions about prioritization, management, and, you know, all that leadership stuff. And then here's a prioritization delegation. This is a book just all about delegating and prioritization, which is going to be very useful when you're doing. I didn't use these two books much because a lot of these books already did prioritization already in there. So, but I definitely use these more than any other books. So definitely download these for free. It does not hurt you at all. So I will do that. So yeah, so these are the app these are the 
the books that I use during, throughout nursing school to get more practice questions. Yeah, because people always ask, where do you get all the questions from? Like, here, this is where I get all my questions to practice for. Like, during Q2, I stopped I stopped um, reading PowerPoints and I just did practice questions. And that was enough. I mean, I don't know if you guys want Bs, but if you're just doing practice questions was enough to get me <laughs> B pluses. But if you want an A, you do both. Um, do practice questions and read your PowerPoints. So that's the app. That's the script, script app. Um, and the other app that really helped me during Q1 is Quizlet. Quizlet, there's an app, but you can also, like, just go online, like, go to www.quizlet.com. Here's Quizlet. I downloaded Quizlet. This was, it's a flashcard app. So I made a, tons of flashcards when I was in Q1 for Patho because it's a lot of information and there's a lot of memorization. So, so here I'm going to... Go to my, go to the my profile and like all the, these are all the sets that I have made. Um, so like if you, if you type in my name in Quizlet, it will show you all the flashcards that I've made. Um, and like my username on here is y a b a c h i. So that's my username on Quizlet. So if you type in some like so you can share flashcards with your friends. Um. Or you can like have your friends add sets to your set and copy some from theirs to yours. So it's very, very useful. Um, and also, I got a lot of my practice questions in Q1 before I discovered, before I discovered um, Scribd and all those these books. I use Quizlet a lot for Q1, um, especially to get my nursing questions. So if you don't want to buy these assessment um, books, what I recommend doing is whatever topic you're learning in class. So, for us, in Fundamentals of Nursing, we were, you know, we learned about oxygenation and bed making and um, all those, like, the fundamental stuff. So, what I would do is I will go to Google and I will type in oxygenation and collect questions. Like, usually Google will, like, will already have it down before I even finish typing it. So, any topic you're learning, so the topic and collect questions. And then everything pops up. So, let me show you. So do that, and that's and then just do all the usually a lot of Pearson, Pearson whatever comes up a lot, and they're very helpful too. Um, and I've seen some of the same questions from these that I've seen on my quizzes it may not be the same as you guys, but it does like I do I did a lot of practice questions. Um, I know a lot of people in my cohorts um, fundamentals um, got them a lot, and I think the reason was because they wasn't doing they weren't doing a lot of practice questions. They were just memorizing PowerPoints, which is okay, but the test is going to be a question test. It's not going to ask you to spit back stuff. It's going to ask you to apply, and the only way you can learn how to answer these questions is by doing practice questions. So do lots and lots of practice questions. You cannot go wrong with that. So Google, um, type in whatever topic you're learning, and NCLEX, the word NCLEX afterward, after it, and you get tons of questions from it to practice. Um, and also this website, nurselabs.com. So, www. That. Nurse Lab. Nurse Labs. Nurse Lab. I will post all of these links down below so you can have it all. Nurse Labs. Come. I think this is it. Um, they have a lot of questions, too. And it was also by topic. Oh, so it's wrong. Wrong site. N I know it's Nurse Lab something. My internet is very slow. Oh. Anyway, so I, I'm going to post that link as soon as I figure out. But I know I use that um, site a lot. 